hello friends welcome to java swing uh, tutorial in this video we are going to see how to create a uh, menu bar j menu and menu items first we will go through the concept in this uh, part one then in part two we will uh, discuss about the example which we will create in uh, part three so now we will proceed with uh, part one of this video Along the way, you will learn what's J menu bar, what's J menu, then what's a J menu item, and how J menu item can be registered with action listener to catch action events. Here is the prerequisite AWT playlist is optional. But if you learn that, it will uh, give good hands-on and uh, make your life easy when you are learning the Java Swing. So here in this playlist, you are actually learning Java Swing. Um, the very first video in this uh, playlist is uh, mandatory. So we use that A-frame to create all other example. So in each video, we will not reiterate how to create a J-frame. So if you want to know how to create a JFrame, you can watch this video. So first let us say we have a top level container. It can be a dialog box or a frame window. Here I am choosing it as a frame window. So this will be our frame window. So in the frame window, you can actually attach a menu so the j frame contains this title and here in the right hand side you will see the uh, close and uh, minimize maximize buttons so once you attach menu it will come like this so the first part is what called menu bar so first we will have menu bar inside the menu bar we will attach menus say for example file so if you see first we have menu bar inside the menu bar we have menus so this is menu title file and this is the pop-up once you click the file it will show the pop-up similarly once you click edit it will show the pop-up so we call these two as menus so we have menu bar menu bar contains menus here if you see we have uh, uh, two menus so this is menu one this is menu two so the title for uh, menu one is file and the second one is ed edit so people usually call file menu edit menu right so this is file menu then inside file menu we may contain one or more menu items say for example new Say for example, this new open exit as well as copy paste, these are all called menu items. So that's the relation. If you see uh, a frame window, the frame window contains menu bar, then the menu bar contains one or more menus. Here you are seeing file menu and edit menu. There is one more menu called about menu also. So a menu contain one or more menu items. So here, for example, copy paste or the menu items. So now we are talking about the three parts here. One is menu bar. So in Java Swing, we can create menu bar using J menu bar instance. Similarly, menus are created using J menu. So menu items are created using J menu items and menus are created using J menu. So these are all the corresponding uh, swing uh, components. And if you see the frame window, the frame window contains menu bar. So the entire portion here 
or seeing a long rectangle right so in that we have menus title file edit about so this is what called menu bar so you can hook the menu bar to frame window if you see the title is the j frame to the j frame we are attaching the menu bar so we need a function to attach it and that function is set menu bar and you can pause instance of the menu bar here so set menu bar will set first you will construct the j menu bar then you will make a call to set menu bar that will set the menu bar to the uh, frame window so if you are making call to this is the frame window frame window dot set menu bar if you make a call the menu bar will be set to that frame window once menu bar is set you can add one or two menu items to the menu bar so for example um, we have j menu bar so from j menu bar you can make a call to add method and add one or more j menu item to it so that means j menu bar there will be one j menu bar item then we will make a call to set menu bar we will add the j menu bar to the frame j frame after that we will create j menu here if you see we will create a two instance or three instance of j menu then we will make a call to j menu bar dot add we will pass the created instances of j menu so after doing this we will create one or more instances of j menu items then we will make a call to add method of j menu then we will pass j menu items to it so that's the relationship so if you see uh, one one is nothing but uh, j menu bar then one contains one or many menus then menu contains one or more menu items so menu bar is set using the set menu bar after that here this relation you will establish using the add method here also you will make use of add method so that's all required to create the um, menu menu bar and menu items and you also saw the relationship now let's talk about menu items so menu items will produce action event so to handle this action event we have to implement action listener so action listener interface we will implement and this will provide a handler function called action perform and inside the body we can handle the menu items uh, click event so that's all here uh, in this uh, video demo we will see later thank you for watching bye